What's up guys, we're here at Ruth's Steakhouse. We're gonna go check this place out. Just finished the ceremony of weigh-ins. Gonna go check it out, get some steak, some pasta, some of the good stuff that I can finally eat. Can't go too crazy, so let's go eat what we can and try to keep it as clean as we can. I'm definitely getting some steak. I'm gonna mash up some dessert, you see me? All right, let's go. This is actually amazing. No, it's really good. Dinner here at Root Steak House was really, really good. Highly recommended, really good food from the steak to the appetizers, all the way to the dessert. And the sparkling water, I didn't get to drink. Normally I like to drink, but I'm on my best behavior until tomorrow night. After that, we act up and we're on Guan Bad, is in it? Let's go, baby. See you guys tomorrow. shakeouts become a routine for the guys on the team and for Aljo. You want to get that first winded feeling early in the morning. You don't want to be winded in your pre-fight warm-up. You want to be winded so you, your body kind of is used to it. You got to break a sweat. You just went through cutting weight and then rehydrating, fueling up. You might be like a little bloated from all the food, all the water that you just drank. So you, you got to sweat, kind of gets the body moving, digesting the food, and you relax, take a little nap, get down to the arena, and then you do your pre-fight warm-up. Azure looked great in the shakeout, just like uh, just like he always does, rehearsed, went through everything that he thinks his opponent's gonna do in the fight, everything that he thinks he's gonna do in the fight, and looked great. Someone's gonna be right. Someone's gonna be wrong. It ain't us. Locker room now, Aljo doing his USADA test. After that, he will wrap the hand, he will warm up, he will get ready for fight. He looks good. This this morning he, he did a five round non-stop sparring with me. He picked me up. Now he's ready to go. He has a lot of energy, he's calm. He will be umpire in 25 minute fight and uh, and still, still, I'm sure he's not gonna need this all 25 minutes. He's gonna finish Henry Serhudo. Early, he TK your baby, let's go. Ha 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 ha. Let's go, Matt. Let's go, Let's get it out. 
Awesome. What a performance. What a I mean he's he's a wild man when he gets in there. He he pulls no punches, he lets it go. It's great to see all his hard work pay off to get a, a, a knockout victory over a guy like Drew Dober. That puts him on the map. He crushed the post fight interview calling out Patty Pimlet. Patty Pimlet has to fight him now. And I think Favol's gonna knock him out too. Yeah, he stepped it up in that second round. I was like, this after that first round, I was like, he's smart, dude. Yeah. He's smart, yeah. man. I feel good, man. On top of the world right now. Paid in full. Team's full. That's what it's all about, man. Making history. Take a chance. 12 weeks of training, not sure what's going to happen. And that's what life's all about, man. Betting on yourself. You bet big, we won. Bet it all on black. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good job, ah. As the party's over, hanging out at the harbor, man. Thank you guys for coming out. I truly do appreciate it. All the fans, the love, the support. You guys motivate me, and the haters, man, you guys motivate me to keep going, going, because that's what it's all about, you know? Just pushing forward, chasing a dream, and that's all, that's all you can do. Nothing's guaranteed in life, but you gotta get up and try. So hopefully I inspire somebody else out there to do the same thing. I come from nothing, from the bottom, all the way to the top. If you don't respect it, then f you. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in, baby. Let's go.